you know, you already have enough to worry about when buying tickets, you know, beating the bots, or getting those verified fan pre-sale codes, or just, you know, there's so many different things that come up all the time, but we gotta discuss the one thing that really, really matters. What's better to buy your tickets on? Your phone or your computer? Let's discuss. What's up guys, welcome back. My name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk buying tickets, selling tickets, and everything it takes to make sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the little bell icon to make sure that you never miss out on any new content because there's always new ticketing things and ticketing news that needs to get out to you. So make sure that you're always staying on top of it. It's important when you're buying your tickets that you kind of set yourself up for success. So you do all the pre-planning work, you apply for all the pre-sales, you get the pre-sale codes, you get all yourself ready, you figure out what you want to buy, you know where you want to sit, you know how many tickets you want to get. But then you have the question of, okay, I have everything I need to know. I know what time the event's gonna go on sale. I have the pre-sale code. I'm ready to do everything, but which device or what should I use to actually make this ticket purchase? Should I use my computer or should I use my phone? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna discuss the pros and cons of using a computer versus a phone. Uh, and we're gonna see, you know, what makes the most sense for you, what doesn't make sense, and we'll just get a good idea and you'll have a good discussion here. So let's start off with the most common one, the number one challenger, the computer. Computer, laptop, MacBook, whatever device you're using that is not a phone or mobile device, essentially. What are the great things about it? So number one, using a computer or a laptop, biggest thing, the best thing I would say is just the amount of real estate and screen size that is available to you. Someone blind like me, it's great to have lots of real estate, lots to see, you know, being able to kind of just have a good understanding of everything that's going on. I like having lots of screen real estate. So again, having access to a larger screen, always key in making sure that you have the best ticket buying experience possible. Yep, next thing on the list, calendar mode. So I find this actually very helpful because sometimes it's a bit easier to actually, you know, get everything in a in th that type of list versus a list where it just kind of keeps scrolling lower and lower and lower and lower. I don't like having to, you know, constantly hit load more, refresh, refresh, you know, keep getting all the way down the list. It's nice when you actually have it in calendar mode, you see the whole month right in front of you, click one button and moves to the next month nice and easy. It's a lot smoother, it's a nicer experience experience to be able to actually see what events are going on sale, where they're going on sale, what time they're going on sale. You get all this information in a much nicer, cleaner format. And this is something that you only get using the computer. Last thing I like about using a computer is that you get access to, you know, keyboard and mouse. One, you get that tactile feeling of knowing everything you're typing in is going into the inputs into that computer so you can find exactly what you're looking for. And then having a mouse, it's great because when you're looking on the map and you want to start clicking things, clicking on different seats, making sure you get the exact thing you want, you have to make sure that you're, you know, very exact and having a mouse instead of a touch screen and having to zoom in all the time, it's a lot smoother, a lot simpler, a lot easier to actually go ahead and navigate that way. So having access to all these things makes using the computer great. But the one downside I have with using a computer is the actual ticket searching process once you've gotten through the queue. Getting through the queue is the exact same process on both the computer and a phone, so I don't worry about that at all. But once you actually get through, my biggest gripe against using a computer actually begins. When you're searching for something on the computer, I find that using the map is no longer an efficient use of, you know, being able to find what you want. The problem you run into is that, especially for a popular event, the map itself does not load fast enough. So if you wanna go and find the exact seats you want, you know, you'll click on a section, you'll zoom in, you'll go find and search around, see what's available, and you'll click on a few blue dots, you'll hit check out, you get the little spinner, it'll go, it'll spin, and then it'll spin some more, and then it'll spin some more, and then you get out. Oh, sorry, some fan just beat you to those tickets. Please try again or look for another one. It's like, oh, that sucks, let's let's try again. So you go back to the map, you click another few more few blue dots and you do the same thing, check out, you wait for it to load, spin, spin, spin. Oh, oh, error. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, some other fan beat you. But then you look at the map, you're like, oh, but I still see the blue dots there. But I, I see them, I, 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 I see you. That, that seat, I see it, it's open, I want it, I'm gonna click it, I do it again, same error. The problem is the map doesn't refresh as fast as people are actually checking out and buying tickets. If you're trying to find exact seats on the map and you start clicking on different blue dots, you're gonna find out that you're gonna get errors many times because tickets are just flying off the shelves way too quick, the map cannot update in real time fast enough, and so it's just it just becomes a very depressing feeling as you're clicking for seats and they're not there, you go back a few rows, you click some seats, they're not there, you go back a few rows, click some seats, they're not there, you, you see where I'm getting at the here. But at the end of the day, you're gonna be have clicked all the blue dots in the entire building, none of them will have checked out for you, and you'll be depressed and sad and frustrated, and it'll just be ah! worst day ever. Point being, using the map itself to pick exact seats on the computer, 
not a great thing. Yes, they do have the other feature of using the sidebar list that does exist, and I find that to be a bit easier to actually use, um, but still, and no, I find I have a bit more luck with that because it doesn't necessarily pull the best, best seat in each section, uh, and it does, I would say, update a little bit faster than, uh, than the actual map itself. So on that side of things, it is nice. I mean, I'll give it that. But still, at the same time, you can't actually search well within the sidebar. So one of the things you can do is actually, you know, hit Command F, Control F, try and search for either a specific price point. If you see it on the sidebar there, you can actually search like that. The other thing you can do is actually search for a specific section number. So you can go ahead, again, Control F, do the search that way. The issue is that that list is, it, it, you can't filter it properly. You can't get the information you actually want to get out of it. So when you're searching, you have lowest price and best seats. I mean, in theory, it sounds great. You either want to find the worst seats or you want to find the best seats. Yes, you can find the cheapest seats in the building, but sometimes, but a lot of people want to sit somewhere in the middle. They don't want to sit, you know, at the top end where they're paying thousands of dollars a ticket, but they don't want to sit at the $50 end where they're paying $50 a ticket and, you know, getting a, a not, not decent view or a side view or something, right? So the problem there is that, yeah, you have a few features to go ahead, change the sliders, find the exact price points you want, but you can't really search for the exact sections you're looking for. It's not really conducive, it's not designed for that type of searching. So the end of the day, it's like if you want a specific section, you're almost forced to have to go through the map and then you have to really make that decision of should I spend these five or seven seconds clicking on these seats that are at the front of the section, you know, the lowest rows in that section and hoping you can check out, or do you, you fight the bullet and say, okay, I'm gonna jump back a few rows and hope that those seats have not yet been checked out and I can actually get those seats for myself. The only way I've really found having good success using the computer is actually using the sidebar, and even then, it's you have to be very, I wouldn't say skilled in being able to sort through that, but you have to know exactly what you're looking for or else it's very hard to find the seats you want. So. That's using the computer. I'm not completely sold on it. No, I've had some good experiences, many poor experiences. Not the best situation for me. So then, let's look at the other contender, the other option, the mobile device. Now, mobile devices, cons, let's discuss those first. First thing off, very simply, in comparison to a computer, real estate is limited. Whatever size your phone is, that's kind of what you're stuck with. And then sometimes there's just things that pop up and whatever. So just having to work in a smaller, you know, real estate space, uh, it can be a problem for some people, especially some who have, you know, limited eyesight like myself. Number two is actually, again, very similar to the computer side of things, the searching features. They're there, they exist. It's very similar to the computer, but what it does not have is a calendar view. I don't know why it doesn't have this feature. It should definitely have this feature, but it does not yet exist. I think it's because of the limited amount of real estate and every phone is slightly different in terms of size. The calendar itself, it, it takes up a good chunk of space. Uh, so having it on your phone, it might not actually be a conducive way to search for events. Not a fan. So don't like that. Then the last thing I don't like about using the phone is the copy paste features of each phone. They're all different, they're all unique. Some of them work well, some of them don't work well. I always run into issues. It's important that you realize that sometimes you'll copy something and it might not copy it correctly, or you try and pasting it and then the paste button just doesn't show up. It's like, Arr! just doesn't work. So I, I don't like that, but again, these are all just, you know, user interface type of things. It's, these are just complaints I have because I find that sometimes using the phone is not the smoothest experience that exists. Now, with all of those negative doom and gloom things being said, the number one thing about using your phone or your mobile device to actually buy tickets on Ticketmaster is the ability to decide between searching between list view and map view. Now, this is the number one reason why I love using my phone to buy tickets. In map view, again, very similar to how it works on the computer. You go in, you click the map, you search on the section you want, you see the blue dots, you go click, 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 check out, and that's it. It's very similar, very simple. It is in fact the exact same experience, I would say, just with you know using your thumbs or your fingers or your toes or whatever you use to click on the blue dots. Uh, it's, it's the exact same. So you have that feature, fine, great, dandy, not a fan, as you know. List view, however, quite a fan, very, very happy with it. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but it is much better than using the map view. How does list view work? Very simply, it has the same features of, you know, searching by price and best seats or top seats, but also you can actually now filter this in much easier. You can go ahead, click on the map itself, and instead of actually zooming in and showing you all those different blue dots that are available to you, it's actually just going to filter your search results in the list, which is below the map, for that section. So now you can actually go ahead and say, I want to search in you know section 119, 118, and 120, because I know my friends will be somewhere in that region, and I can look exactly in those sections only 
and I can make sure I'm going to then be able to pick from the list the exact seats I want. So the reason this is so good is because the list is actually slightly curated to try and avoid giving you options that don't exist anymore. But what is it gonna do? It's not gonna show you the best, best, best rows available in those sections, but it will show you available rows in those sections. It's a key distinction. Available rows in those sections means you actually have a chance of being able to check out and buy those tickets. And again, this is all about buying those tickets. If you can buy those tickets, it means you can go to that event. If you can go to that event, you can have a lot of fun. And if you have a lot of fun, you won. You are the winner. You won at life yet again. That is what it's all about. So this is why I love using the list view. I can go ahead, make sure I get the exact sections I want. If I only want to sit on the floor, I can just select the different floor sections. If I want to sit in certain side view sections, I can do that. If I want to sit in the super cheap sections, I can go ahead and click all of those. Basically anything I want to do, I can make sure I sort my tickets exactly how I want to, and then I can get options presented to me. Now, two downsides to it. First one, sometimes the list, again, is not up to date at the exact second you want, so you will still be able to run into different issues saying, hey, sorry, your tickets are not available. Whoops, someone fan beat you to it. Unfortunately, you can't buy those tickets. You gotta go and search again. Uh, and then number two, the other issue I've noticed many times using this list view is that some when you search for a list view and you end up getting that error saying, hey, that ticket has already been sold, you'll actually get the list view, you know, population of items that are available for you to select from. I find that that tends to reset back to the beginning. So even though you have different sections selected, I find that that list will actually reset itself completely and you need to then, you know, unselect one section or reselect one section and then it will then repopulate the list for you. So it can be a bit of a problem. Sometimes you'll find that it just it doesn't quite work 100% but it does work much better than actually going in and trying to buy the individual seats itself. With all that being said, as you can probably tell by now which method I prefer, it is definitely 100% using your mobile device. This thing has the ability to let you search much better, much easier, much faster, and much more efficiently than using a computer. Therefore, why would I ever use a computer anymore? Two reasons. One, just because it's there, it's available to me, sometimes I don't have my phone on me, it just sits there, so, you know, it's, it's convenient, sometimes your phone can die, blah blah blah, all these different things. Sometimes it's the only option that exists, therefore it is the option I'm going to use. Second reason I like to use a computer is if there's another person who's trying to search for tickets with me. So if I'm using my phone and then they're using the computer, then you can have two people searching at the exact same time. Fantastic, wonderful, two more chances for us to get those great, great seats. Now, which one do you prefer? Do you like using the computer? Do you like using your phone? Do you like using map view, list view? What is it that you like about each of them? What is it that you don't like about each of them? You know, personally, I love using my phone, but I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Very, very interested to see what you guys have to say. I wanna make sure you guys get the best seats possible every single time, so if you wanna get those seats, make sure you subscribe so you can learn everything you need to know about buying those tickets. And see you guys next time.